Good morning, everyone. It's Diana here. Time for your daily tarot for today, November the 29th. Remember that this is a very general reading for all signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever planetary action you might be watching for. And also, if you don't know those signs, you can check out a video link I have in the description below, you know, below this video, that shows you how to find those signs. I take you through it step by step. It's a very easy process, and it doesn't cost you anything. And also, if you enjoy this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, leave me a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and I do respond to those comments, y'all. I, I do. I love hearing from you. So let's start this with Aries, as always. So message for Aries for today, November 29th, please. Three of Cups, celebrations, parties knight of cups <laughs> wow somebody's getting a bit stammered a bit a bit um mm, a bit overdone here aries right then you have the queen of disc so dealing with a possible earth sign towards virgo capricorn or you could have earth in your chart now <laughs> some of you i, I get the whole <clears throat> um got so drunk you drank yourself sober type of energy that you got so messed up that you didn't like you don't realize what you're doing so be careful with any type of recreational um substances you know your alcohols um and anything of that nature okay be careful aries now i do see there is a sense of needing to work on something that is very important and also um, i'm getting your you could be celebrating a victory for a new job a change in your job um promotion type of thing whatever it is i i can also get that message of celebrating a victory celebrating a job well done okay so i hope that message makes sense i hope that helps and of course thank you for watching taurus message for taurus for today november 29th please for taurus king of excuse me king of wands dealing with a possible fire sign aries leo sagittarius or you could have fire in your chart and then we have the knave of wands that young or immature fire sign and then the king of cups whoa you okay so you're just dealing with a lot of people right and then we got the king of cups that water energy cancer pisces scorpio so again you could have water in your chart or dealing with somebody with those energies i i feel here for you taurus it's about gaining control over your emotions <clears throat> There could be some very intense communications going on, an intense discussion that could have you feeling a little bit tr like I, I get like trials and tribulations, getting the the whole like feeling attacked almost. So it's like be careful when going into a conversation or anything like that that you hold your ground and remember that it's not always directed at you okay I, somebody needed to hear that like it's not always it's it could be that they just needing to vent they may just need to be need to say what they gotta say and you're just the unfortunate victim here like you're the you're the target you're the first person they see and it's like oh my god why why me why me why me and it's not you it's not you it's just that they you just happen to be in their line of sight and you're the first person they see when they go off i hope that makes sense to you taurus i hope that message helps you and thank you for watching and gemini message for gemini for today november 29th start out with the three of swords and the six of cups okay oh gemini and then chariot dealing with a possible cancer or you could have cancer in your chart I, I get here Gemini that there could be a 
a blast from the past. Somebody coming back into your life in the next three weeks. Could be three months. I'm not feeling like this is going to be a immediate thing, but you're thinking about it. This also could be a trip that takes you down memory lane and brings in some old feelings that mm, you didn't want to have come back up, right? Now, for some of you, there has been heartache, heartbreak from a past love. Like that heartache, that past love is in your presence and you're like, oh my goodness. There could be a change there. And if I'm remembering correctly, Gemini, you've had this coming up in your past readings that there, this person's trying to get back into your life or there is that energy's there, that, that chemistry's there. For some of you, they may not be physically there with you, but they're in your thoughts. They're in your heart still. And you're kind of like unsure about what you're meant to be doing here. But I, I do see there being something happening within the next three weeks. It could be sooner, but I'm not really feeling like it's sooner than that. I feel like it's going to be that three-week point for you, which is coming right at Christmas, y'all. So the holidays do bring up those, those emotions for us, and they bring up those memories. And for whoever this is for, like I, I feel like it's going to be a rough one for you. But you'll get through it, right? I hope that message makes sense, Gemini. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Cancer. Message for Cancer for today, November 29th, please. Three of Disc. Making a decision about work. Could be about home. You got the tower. Making some changes. Oh, and the world. Oh, Cancer, it's going to be a good one. Whatever this decision is, is where you're meant to be. Honey, it's not the wrong place. It's not the wrong decision. Keep going. Keep trucking on because that's where you're meant to be. Um, it's a lot of communications coming in. Some major events. It's a major change for you here, Cancer. And it's all about this decision that you've made. So it's like thinking back over the past few days what decision have you been contemplating whatever that decision is it's like okay go for it cancer go for it don't look back it's that's your your path okay and this doesn't have to be about home or anything specific it's a just a decision that you've made recently that you're kind of like on the fence about whether or not you should push forward well your message is to push forward okay i hope that message makes sense i hope that helps and of course thank you for watching leo message for leo for today november 29th please ace of wands new beginnings new communications new actions the star Yes, answer for you if you're looking for an answer. If you had, if you came to the reading and looking for an answer, your answer is yes. You have that. And it's also the Aquarius energy. So you could have Aquarius in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It's also beautiful blessings from the universe. Um, then you have these seven of wands. Okay, so for some of you, for someone out there, you have a new idea that you're pushing forward with and you could receive a lot of pushback from those around you like um, you're wanting to do XYZ and they're like no you need to do ABC or you know that type of thing here for you Leo I, I just feel like there's gonna be some conflicts with whatever this um, new idea is for you but I do feel like it's it, it's like that's your divine your destiny that's your divine path okay and you need to don't don't let anybody talk you out of it. I, I I really feel like that's a strong message for someone out there that don't let anyone talk you out of what you feel is your your path at this moment, okay? Because whether or not it's the right path, only you're gonna know that 
And if it's the wrong path, it's a lesson that you're needing to learn. I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And, of course, thank you for watching. Virgo, message for Virgo for today, November 29th, please. We have the Empress dealing with a mother figure. It's also the birth of something new, brand new beginnings. We have the Queen of Cups dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could have water in your chart. And then we have death. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. No, Sagittarius, sorry, a Scorpio. Or you could have uh, Scorpio in your chart. Now, I did say Sagittarius in the beginning, so there could be a Sagittarius energy for you that is coming into play. Um, I feel for Virgo, there could be a very emotional change coming in. It's like very intense. This could be to do with your mother or that mother figure in your life. And it's like, I, I feel like there's something that needs to be cut off in order for you to move in the right direction. For some of you, it is the the mother in you, that maternal instinct that's like, no, no, something's not right, something's wrong. And you're having to cut something out or make some kind of big change that is going to affect your life and those around you. And I, But I feel like it's going to be the, the right thing for you to do. So just it's like listen to your gut I, I feel like your message here is listen to your gut today here virgo it is not going to lead you wrong you know just listen to it okay i hope that message helps you i hope that makes sense and thank you for watching libra message for libra for today november 29th please for libra we have the knave of cups we I, this is could be dealing with a water sign young or immature cancer pisces scorpio though i feel like this is about learning to communicate someone's learning to communicate right nine of swords stress worry anxiety stressing over a commute over a conversation that you need to have ten of wands okay Who's ending it? Who? Who's ending a relationship? Libra. The lovers. And this is the Gemini card. So you could have Gemini in your chart. But I get that this is for someone out there. Your relationship is on the rocks. And it's not like... Ooh, I can see the holidays being very rough for you, Libra. Some of you are just really stressed about a conversation that you need to have about ending something, about making a change. You got the Ten of Wands. It's like having the conversation is really important for you. It's very stressful for you. And it's very, it's like very, um, it means a lot to you. It means a really lot to you and you're just really not sure how to push forward and uh, even with you Libra I, I seem to remember that your previous readings have been about this stressful ending dealing with it I'm I feel for you and um, remember once one foot in front of the other might take each day day by day okay and I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Scorpio. Message for Scorpio for today, November 29th, please. Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true. Emperor dealing with a possible Aries, or you could have Aries in your chart. It's also the father figure. And then the Hierophant, so dealing with a possible Taurus. So you could have Taurus in your chart. Oh, okay, so Scorpio, you get something big coming in for you, huh? 
um, it's a major victory I'm feeling here. It's like really taking control over a situation that you've been kind of on the fence about. You've not been really, um, you haven't been really determined for it. But I feel like that determination is kind of kicking into gear today. And making those changes. Making those um just making the changes, right? Making the changes with this person so that you can receive what you're wanting. Or they making the changes so that you have that better life. I don't know, Scorpio. That's just what I'm picking up here. It's like really... and Now, there's also a sense of it could have been something to do with the moon, the full moon that we just had. So look into that into your chart. Maybe see where your moon is sitting at in your birth chart. And listen to that reading as well. There could be a, um, a a link there for you, okay? So, Scorpio, I hope that message helps. I hope that makes sense. And thank you for watching. Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius for today, November 29th, please. We have the Empress dealing with a mother figure as possible. It's just the birth of something new as well. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so making a change. And that's what you're... Okay. And then the Devil. So dealing with a possible Capricorn. Or you could have Capricorn in your chart. There is communications coming in here that you could be creating something and moving away from a situation, really changing your environment. Now, there could be a sense of a mother figure in your life that has kind of slipped away and that person is coming back in to kind of um, mend those, um, like amend the fences, mend the, the relationship between the two of you or between like, it's somebody close to you, okay? I, I get just really, really tr uh, trudging through, rigid, really just pushing through, not, um, just not taking any, no, no prisoners, you know, just pushing through. You're not going to take it anymore. Uh, I'm getting the, like, that, um, uh, Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it. I feel like that's your, your song today. That That's your message. You're not going to take it anymore kind of thing, okay? I hope that message helps you, Sagittarius. I hope that helps. I hope it makes sense. And thank you for watching. Capricorn, message for... Message for Capricorn for today, November 29th, please. Queen of Disc dealing with an earth sign such as yourself, Capricorn, or uh, Taurus, or Virgo. We have Strength dealing with a possible Leo. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. Capricorn, push forward. Push forward and move on. Whatever this is, you've got to end something up. you got to clear it out. There is a sense of you, I mean, it's a major fight, I feel, but you will come out victorious, whatever it is. It could be about a work situation. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling like it is more of a work situation that there needs to be a change there for you, Capricorn, that there needs to be a, I, got, I, I feel like it's anxiety ridden almost. I, I just feel like there is a sense of having trouble breathing here that panic attacks type of energy here for you Capricorn like you could be just really stressed over a decision to do with work or having to end a work situation and now you're like okay what do I do next that type of thing but I feel like it's like it's that I'm getting the whole stepping stone again here so this was a chapter in your life that you needed to learn something from and it, it may not be easy. It, it probably won't be easy, but you've got to go through it so that you can learn whatever the life lesson is that you are meant to learn from this situation. So I hope that makes sense for you, uh, Capricorn. I hope that message helps. And thank you for watching.
Aquarius. Message for Aquarius for today, November 29th, please. The Ten of Disc, Major Abundance, Big Money coming in. Three of Disc, making, so some kind of decision was made. Ooh, and it could be to do with the home, the family, the foundation, tearing things up, building things up. For some of you, there has been a decision to move. A decision that affects the home. Like you may have just come into a major, 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 big win. Um, like could be a inheritance and you're just finding out about it. There's been a decision about it, a court ruling, a win of a lawsuit, anything of that nature. And it's a, a it's affecting the home. For some of you, this big win is giving you the money to have a new home. But there's a change in the home, home and foundation, your family. They, it's clearing things out so that the new can come in. It's the end of the year, y'all. It's the we're going to be clearing things out for the new beginning to come in for January. So, like, I feel like it's a strong message here for you, Aquarius. But I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. And last but not least, Pisces. Message for Pisces for today, November 29th, please. Ooh, we have the Fool, that brand new beginning. Now, some of you could be dealing with someone very childish today. Um... The Four of Cups. Okay, so you're feeling like the third wheel, right? You're feeling like you're just, you're the outcast. Now, this new beginning, this, so that's the childish energy for you, right? That's the childish behavior. And we got the Empress here. Okay, Pisces, so this childish behavior, someone's putting a, cutting it off, right? Somebody's blowing up. Somebody's having a major temper tantrum. And it's going to be the, the pivotal moment. It's going to be that turning moment for you or for the home and family for there to be a new beginning. It's like somebody needs to have this meltdown in order for there to be the new beginning. This meltdown is causing a change in the family, a change in the home. And for some of you, you just need to, <laughs> like, ignore the meltdown. Uh, for, for someone out there, it's like, just this person's having a meltdown. Let them have it. Let them have their temper tantrum. And just stay to yourself. Or are you the one having that meltdown? Or are you the one having that childish little fit? Hmm? Only you're going to know what's going on there, Pisces. I'm just, I'm just a messenger. So I hope that message helps you. I hope that makes sense. And thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for joining me. I do appreciate you and I hope you have a great day. Till next time.